Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. So today we're going to do some tracking tests with my e-bike and the DJI Neo. Uh, that's what I'm actually recording on right now and I'm capturing audio on the DJI Mic 2. And yeah, we're just going to go for a bike ride. Right now I have the distance set to far, uh, but I'll show you some clips later on in the video because you can set it to medium and you can set it to close as well. And uh, yeah, so let's just go for a ride. Now, I will apologize in advance because it's a pretty cool morning. Uh, it's about five degrees. Uh, my jacket's a little bit crinkly, so that might be uh, audible in the sound, but uh, we'll see how things go. And I, um, and I picked this location because nobody is ever here, so I don't have to worry about, uh, you know, the drone flying around people. So yeah, let's uh, go for a quick ride. I think this DJI Neo is going to be a great uh, choice for a lot of people just due to its simplicity. Now you didn't see uh, when I launched it, I um, you know just hit the button and off it went. No controller needed, I didn't have to uh, do any settings. Um, I think this is a dead end here but I guess we'll find out. That sun's pretty bright. So I don't know if you've seen what happened there. I went around the bend and because it's such early morning, uh, the sun blinded the drone and it lost sight of me. So I had to restart here. Uh, that's a common problem with tracking, visual tracking. Uh, the sun can get in the way. I've had that with my Mini 4 Pro uh, quite a few times. So I'll have to be a little bit mindful of that. But yeah, let's continue this. So there are a lot of uh, low hanging branches. So we'll see how the drone does. Especially like right here. And I'm at a dead end. So we'll have to turn around. And uh, not quite sure where to go from here. this path so yeah as I was saying I think the DJI Neo is going to be a great tool for a lot of people just due to its simplicity and uh, the drone might lose sight of me here uh, because the Sun is a little bit bright but yeah it's super simple and uh, I think a lot of people are going to really enjoy the simplicity and I mentioned in my review that you might find that you're getting more footage capturing in more different uh, let's go this way this could be a little sketchy because there's a lot of low hanging branches here So far, so good. I can hear it behind me still. You know, you don't have the hassle of a big bulky drone, a controller, uh, especially when you're doing activities like this, you know, like what do you do with your controller? Uh, this thing just visually tracks you and uh, you can get some interesting footage. And we've got another dead end here. Oh, no, oh, goes this way. And uh, the tracking does pretty good. The drone can't fly super fast when you're being tracked, but uh, you know, good enough to get some interesting footage for your vlogs, social media. And uh, 
yeah, it's doing pretty good so far. It's keeping up to me. I'm not going super fast. Uh, according to the bike, I'm doing 10 miles per hour. Uh, let's go back this way. I think this is just where we were. And just versatile, the fact that you can, you know, do stuff like this without a controller, no controller needed. And then on top of that, you can uh, fly it with a controller, or if you prefer, you can fly it FPV style with the DJI Goggles 3, the Motion 3, or the FPV Controller 3. So uh, definitely a very versatile drone. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to land the drone and I'm gonna set the uh, follow distance to medium and that way you can kind of see what it's gonna look like at a closer uh, viewpoint. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do right now. So now I have it set to medium and for the height I have it set to flat. You can set it to low, flat or high. And the other thing I'm doing this time is I've got the phone mounted with the Fly app and uh, that's a nice simple way to get a visual feed of uh, what you're filming. You know, with the drones behind you, you can make sure that it's still following you. So I don't know if there's going to be much of a difference between far and medium. Especially like when you're riding the drone's legs, maybe, uh, you know, trying to keep up to you so it might be lagging behind a bit. Dead end. Now, once we're done this little test here, I'm going to do a test with the frontward tracking just to see how it does uh, the frontward tracking actually works really well when like walking if you're hiking or something i don't know how well it will do on a bike but uh, i guess we will soon find out let's uh, go this way again leaves there hanging down So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to land it and I'm going to change it to forward following where it follows me from the front and I will see how it does. So now I am using direction track and indeed it is struggling a little bit. It's just off to the side, but uh, so far it's still in front of me. It's kind of like going from the side to the back, trying to stay in the front, but I guess we're getting some interesting sideways shot. But. Uh, yeah, I don't think uh, this direction track works well when you're on a bike at a high rate of speed. It works phenomenal when you're walking and you're doing some hiking, but... Uh... So, as you could see in that footage, the DJI Neo actually does a really good job when it comes to tracking. And as mentioned, the really nice thing is, is that it's super easy and simple to deploy. Especially when you're on a bike, sometimes it's hard if you want to capture yourself riding. You know, if you've got a controller, a big bulky drone, it's just really not that easy to do. But the Neo makes it really simple. You can pull this out of a backpack or a pocket, put it up in the air, and away you go. Now you can't go super fast. The uh, Neo can struggle to keep up if you're traveling at a high rate of speed. Uh, but for just some casual B-roll footage for your vlogs or for your social media, it's more than adequate. The quality of the video is pretty good. Now of course it's nowhere as near something like the Mavic 3, the Air 3, or even the Mini 4 Pro. But for, again, social media, it uh, is more than adequate. And although it doesn't have traditional obstacle avoidance, as long as you're avoiding obstacles, the drone, for the most part, will avoid them as well. You can see in some of these clips here, I'm riding a bike in a very pretty thick area, uh, lots of trees and branches, 
and uh, it pretty well follows it tracks where I went with the bike so it does a good job at avoiding most of the branches and obstacles and as mentioned just due to its durable build and because it is extremely lightweight if it happens to run into a tree branch or a tree trunk or some other obstacle chances are it's just going to bounce off and keep on going if it does happen to fall to the ground again because of its durable build chances of it being damaged are very minimal and the other nice thing about the neo when it comes to tracking yourself on a bike as you've seen in some of those video clips when there's lots of stuff around you if you're using something like the mini 4 pro the mavic 3 or even something like the air 3 uh, first of all those drones are very expensive or more expensive anyways and uh, you know you're a little bit more nervous about them crashing they're more delicate you know if you happen to hit a tree branch and they fall to the ground you know it's a lot more money that uh, could potentially be damaged or something like this is 199 bucks so you know it's not quite as much money if something bad was to happen but because it is a ducted prop design and we have the propeller guards over it you greatly reduce the risk of if you do happen to hit a tree branch that it's going to fall to the ground it just kind of pushes on through or bounces off to the side or something like the mini 4 pro or the air 3 you know if you run into a tree branch that it can't see a thin branch then it's just going to fall to the ground and uh, you know a good chance that it will be damaged now right at the end there i did a test using the direction track and that's basically where it'll follow you from the front and as you can see it was struggling to uh, to keep up to me it kept getting off to the side that direction track is more designed if you're going to be hiking or doing something at a slower pace then it works actually extremely well for that and it's pretty easy to control and steer once you've had it up a few times you realize the movement you kind of understand the movement i should say and it's easy to kind of point it where you want it just by your body movements well folks that's basically it for this video hopefully you enjoyed it and found it had value give it a thumbs up if you did and we'll see you in the next one